Hello and welcome to Cube Corner. For today's video we gonna talk about the possible awakening weapon for Dosa as you all know Dosa is a Taoist and have the same duart as Megu and Wusa but they have different schools or teachings. Some say that Dosa awakening will be a Jia Sungsaja, the Korean Grim Reaper. That his weapon will be a staff or a scroll or a bell to raise the dead, abilities like a necromancer. But this characteristics is already have by awakening Wusa. Wusa weaponizes charms bound into a tome and a calligraphy brush that writes the names of the deceased to harness the power of the Seo Shane Flower Garden, a field blooming in the netherworld. You can say she is more like a spirit mincer. So I think a necromancer is a no for Dosa awakening cause Dosa succession can already summon a bunch of fog warriors so going for a necromancer to summon more undead is kinda not right. On the trailer of Dosa when the class was first introduced, at the end part there is a masked character that mentioned the name Sian Wu Kyung. which is really sound similar to Sun Wukang, the Monkey King. Is this a hint that this will be the awakening of Dosa? Then maybe the weapon that he will be wielding is a magic pole. But this will not be related to Korean culture, which is Dosa is from Land of the Morning Light Soul, so I think a magical bamboo flute instead of a magical pole. Example is the Daegium is a large bamboo flute, a transverse flute used in traditional Korean music. Here is some concept of what I think. The magical bamboo flute in its Sogium form means small flute will produce range magic attacks that create sound waves that blast opponents. Jungium form means medium flute will have mid-range attacks and faster attacks. Dagium form means large flute have slow attack but destructive power. Dosa awakening still remains a mystery, so what is your guess about Dosa awakening? Write it on the comments below and thank you for watching, have a nice day.